Hello, my friend. This is Carl Michael Pilsel coming to you today. I'm so glad to be part of IBB Talks, this global vision reaching around the world, bringing a message of hope for life and business around the globe. I've written a book called The ABC Leader. I'm, I'm a pastor, I'm a speaker, but I'm also an, an author of nine books. And uh, some of my books will come out in English very soon, including this one, The ABC Leader. This is the German copy of it, but look for it coming out very soon in English. I've taken the alphabet and uh, I'm giving 26 qualities or characteristics uh, of a true leader. The A uh, is authenticity. The B is belief. There's already videos on that. Uh, and today, we're going to talk about the letter C, which stands for character. See, I truly believe that your character is who you are. Your character is who you are when nobody's watching. Your character is so important, and it's the basis for every leader. Uh, without character, leadership is an absolute zero, and character speaks. Character communicates. So, what does character communicate? Thanks for asking. Number one, character communicates consistency. What I love about the alphabet, and the reason we took the alphabet as a metaphor uh, for these qualities or for a, a checklist uh, for these qualities, is because the alphabet is consistent. We also call them characters. Right. We call A, B, C, we call them characters. And I think one of the reasons is very interesting. We call them characters is because they are consistent. They don't change. An A is an A always. At 3 in the afternoon or at 3 in the morning, an A is an A, a B is a B, a C is a C, a D is a D. It never changes. See, character communicates consistency. And that's very important. Number two, character communicates potential. Most people believe that, uh, or a lot of people, I don't know, I hope not most people, but a lot of people believe that uh, talent is what makes successful or talent uh, is what uh, communicates the potential. I believe talent uh, shows what the potential could be. Absolutely. Talent is potential. But talent is never enough. My, my mentor, uh, John Maxwell, actually wrote a book uh, with the title, Talent is Not Enough, or Talent is Never Enough. I think he's totally right. Because character actually shows where you are going. Talent shows where you could go. But character with talent shows where you will go. So. Character communicates potential much more than talent does. There's a lot of talented people who have wrecked and ruined their lives. Uh, talent alone is dangerous. Talent alone can be very destructive. Most famous example is maybe El El Elvis Presley. You know, wow! But he wrecked and ruined his earthly life. And that's very, very uh, unfortunate. So character commu communicates consistency, character communicates potential, and character communicates respect. Now, when we have strong character, it creates respect. Now, how do we create respect? I believe there's three things. Number one, making good decisions. When we make good decisions, our respect grows. When we make bad decisions, our respect declines. Uh, when we own up to our own mistakes, when we say, hey, I have wronged you, I have been wrong, I made a mistake, uh, it's my fault, I'm sorry, that creates respect. It's not a problem to make mistakes. It's not a problem to screw up. It's a problem not to admit that you have screwed up or messed up. So respect is created by good decisions, Respect is created by owning up to your own mistakes, and respect is also created by putting other people before your own agenda. 
That's very key as a leader. We are in leadership to put others first. We're in leadership to make good decisions. We're in leadership to make a difference. We're in leadership. And the only way we can truly last long term as leaders is with character because character communicates, don't forget this, consistency. It communicates potential, how far we will go, and it communicates respect. So how are you doing on these things? Let's work on these. Let's get to work on our character. I don't, I don't think you should, like I said, in authenticity, uh, make the decision between character or competence. We need both. Let's get to work on it.